Hello there guys, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today I am counting down my 5 best weapons in Terraria 1.3. And I'm going to share them with you guys and see what you guys think. Again, or again, I haven't said it. <laughs> uh, feel free to leave your own lists in the comments. I'll be very interested to see what you guys think. Uh, and if you have your own list, yeah, go ahead, put it in. Can't get out the door. So, let's count down this list and uh, you guys can see what my favourite weapons are in the game. So, let's get right into it. This mount is pretty good, holy god. Okay, so the number one spot we have the B gun. It fires rounds of bees in multiple directions uh, when you shoot. However, it consumes mana like an absolute eater. Uh, has quite a fast fire rate, but it of course consumes mana very, very quickly, so you should be pretty cautious. It drops from the Queen Bee boss, uh, Relatively high chance. I can't exactly remember the uh, the number, but it is a fairly common drop, and you can get it from one of the uh, one of the first bosses in the game. So I would definitely go with this gun. It, as you can see, it swarms everywhere, uh, trying to attack your foes. Let's see if we can find some enemies that we can use this on. Whoops, up the stairs. Okay, I have found some pixies and some mummies, it seems. I'm going to try and not let them touch me, otherwise my solar shield or blaze is going to help me, so let's fire. As you can see, they swarm them by quite a bit. Uh, does a fair amount of damage as well. Uh, it's murderous, has 11 magic damage, so, I mean, not a bad item for a starting weapon, I guess. The item on our list is the Cutlass. This item can be dropped from the pirate invasion, uh, from any pirate, and including the Flying Dutchman. Uh, it swings relatively quickly, the Agile uh, enchantment does 64, and I'm pretty sure the base does round about 62 damage. Uh, let's test it on these pixies. As you can see, it cuts them up pretty well. Uh, this item can actually be gotten in pre-hard mode, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, it's probably a weapon to go for. It's a relatively easy drop as well. Uh, and it's also, I think it's one of the, I think it's one of the only melee weapons on my list as well. So I would definitely go with this. It inflicts no, like, confusion or anything, but it's a very good weapon, and all you have to do is do the pirate invasion a few times, and you probably get a few of them, uh, just by doing one invasion. It's a very, very common drop, but yet a very powerful sword that you can most likely used at the beginning of hard mode, so I definitely recommend this weapon. That's why it's number four on my top five list. Okay, my next weapon, number three on the list, is the Possessed Hatchet. It drops from Golem uh, randomly. It's a pretty rare drop, but you can, as you can see, just spam it. You can hold down the left mouse or whatever trigger it is on the controller on console. You can just absolutely go ham with this thing. Uh, the unpleasant enchantment does 110 melee damage, and I'm pretty sure the base does around about 90. Um, it lights up as well, so that actually makes me think if it will ignite enemies. Let's see if there's any enemies around here somewhere. Next weapon on my list is the Vortex Beater. This thing can be crafted using the Vortex Fragments from the Vortex Pillar. 
Uh, it is a uh, at the that table you get from uh, from the Luna Cultist. I can never remember what crafting station that is. Put it at that station though, and you can craft this baby. It's actually pretty cheap, and it does immense damage, especially when you use chlorophyte ammo. It can perform significant damage. Uh, with the forceful modifier, it does 55 range damage. Uh, it has six critical strike, very fast, very weak. And as the catastrophic mixture of pew pew and boom boom. Of course, everyone needs that on their guns. Well, I missed that guy, didn't I? Nice one. So that's why this is number two on my list. As you can almost rapid fire this thing, especially if you have the the endless musket pouch. Obviously that's just normal uh, ammo, but I mean it means that you can just constantly spam this thing and never run out, so that's what makes it so good. Oh, that pixie needs to die. Get back here. There we go. Now I'm happy. <laughs> right, let's move on. Finally, number two, uh, number one, sorry, on my list. It's gonna have to be the solar eruption. This is crafted using the solar fragments at the solar pillar. Uh, it doesn't cost too much. It's, I think it's around about 18 fragments of some sort. Uh, it constantly pulses when you hold the uh, mouse button or left mouse button down. Uh, it will shred almost everything in the game, and it's very, very good uh, because do I have platforms on me? I can make some. We have platforms, and something's trying to attack you, like hopefully this pixie will try and do. You see, the pixie can't get here, and this works with like bosses as well. You can use this through walls uh, to hit things. Uh, most likely the best uh, weapon to use against uh, the Martian UFO, because that thing can shred to pieces with its uh, lasers and the beams, so it's, most, it's probably best to use it. Uh, go almost through blocks and platforms to reach its enemy, like that slime, oh, slimes are down there, uh, and you can pretty much uh, inflict crazy amounts of damage, uh, what is the DPS meter saying, 451, uh, demonic modifier does 159 melee damage, uh, you can just spam this thing, honestly. Most of the time it gets 200 or 150. Uh, but that, this is why it's number one on my list, as you can almost reach to any place. It's almost like the uh, the laser drill, I think it's called, the one that drops from the Martian invasion. You can reach anything and mine blocks, but this thing is exactly like that, except you can just rapidly attack enemies with it. And that, of course, is why it is number one on my list. There you go, 300 damage with that. It's almost better than the Meowmere, but the reason I didn't have Meowmere on number one is because it makes a lot of noise and it does beat me off a bit. Especially if you spam them like this. Yeah, it's very irritating. <laughs> so these are all my uh, top five weapons in Terraria 1.3. Leave your own down below, I'm very curious to see what your top 5 weapons are in the game. Uh, and leave your reasons why, it's always good to read up on what everyone else thinks. Uh, remember to be respectful of everyone else's lists if there are multiple people putting their own opinion down there. But of course, that is going to end the video. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video guys. Take care and bye bye. All these need to die. 340? That is insane. Bye bye.